Hi guys, just a quick update on the um, arrest of the 72 year old man uh, that was handcuffed behind his back and literally dragged into a police vehicle um, uh, <laughs> probably one of the most disgusting videos I've ever seen and um, it's obviously on my channel um, I did some in I did some investigation into this because we couldn't find out which constabulary was involved in this basically a crime. I mean at the end of the day if you're not wearing a mask then it's you know a ticket or you know you're given a warning or whatever but to handcuff a 72 year old man and literally drag him into a police van it's just fucking disgusting disgusting so anyway so i've got some updates for you right now what i had to do was i had to go back to subject access um his youtube channel uh, i'll leave a link in the description for that um and if you're gonna share the video please share subject access's video not mine because mine is a a screenshot from my laptop um, with me talking over it so don't want you to share that but I, I spoke to subject access and he said that you're welcome to share that video um, please do not share any other of subject access's videos because he's got a, 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 an agreement with another company that shares his videos um, that particular video isn't um, isn't um, subject to the agreement that he has with the company that shares his other videos so you're welcome to share the um, subject accesses video with regards to sharing um, uh, this particular arrest any other videos that you want to share you need to ask subject asset access uh, for his permission to share those videos is any of his other videos ask him first um, because they are subject to you know copyright and whatnot so do that so anyway basically what it was was I went back through subject access's video because it was very hard to 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 to, to focus in and, and actually get a frame by a frame video of what happened and, and which constabulary it was and etc etc so I, what I had to do is I literally had to uh, download subject access's video and then literally go through frame by frame, or not frame by frame, because I don't have, I don't have the original video. And the original video that's posted on the Facebook page, I did it, send them an email, and they never got back to me. And they've since withdrawn the video from their you uh, their Facebook page, so it's not there. But the original comments, for some reason, are still there. So I asked them to say. You know, in which town was this, which area was this, and I never got a response from them. So, whether they've been, um, you know, sort of, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't, whether they've been sort of pressured into uh, withdrawing that video, I don't know. Whether they've just taken it down for their own reasons, I don't know, but they've got a lot of other police videos on their Facebook page. So why they would have withdrawn this one doesn't make any sense. So anyway, that's just my opinion. So what I did was I downloaded um, Subject Access's video and I went for it, not frame by frame in the sense that I've got the original video because at 60 frames a second, you know, it's going to take you forever to go through the video. But what I did do was just literally go through second by second the whole of his video. 
which is nearly six minutes long. And this is what I've got. Right, okay. The constabulary involved in in this um, arrest was Devon and Cornwall Police. Um, and if you want to go through the video again, you can. And I'll give you the timestamps. It's 2.31 for the insignia of Devon and Cornwall Police. And 2.34, uh, Devon and Cornwall Police is on the side of one of the vans. But you can't see it in the video unless you literally go through um, frame by frame. Because it's one of those Facebook videos that someone's taken in, la in, in um, not landscape mode, but in um, vertical video syndrome mode. And, um, and it's just so haphazard, the video, which is okay. I understand people aren't, you know, you know too au fait with how video works, but... The bottom line is, um, it was it was such a haphazard visit video that it it meant that I had to literally go through every second of every video and literally click, you know, one minute thirty two, one minute thirty three, one minute thirty four to get the information that I needed. <clears throat> now I know a lot of people wanted to uh, contact the police with regards to this incident. So it's Devon and Cornwall Police. And the only police officer's uh, badge number or collar number that I managed to get was the police sergeant who sat there with his hands in his pocket looking at, looking at the floor while his subordinates um, abused a 72-year-old pensioner and dragged him into the back of a van. Now, he's the only member of the police force that I managed to get a collar number for and he's a sergeant and his collar number is 6564 so I'll repeat that he's a sergeant he was the sergeant on duty on the on the video and his number is 6564 so if you want to make any complaints or make your feelings abundantly clear then please do so contact Devon and Cornwall Police on 101 which is the non-emergency number and um, the sergeant is 6564 he was in charge of the um, of the arrest um, there are numerous other police officers involved in this arrest and I couldn't get any of their collar numbers because the video was so poor that every time I tried to stop it or pause it, I, I, you know, the, the video was so bad that I couldn't get any collar numbers from any of the other officers. But the sergeant that was involved, I managed to get his collar number, and it's, it's 6564, a sergeant uh, at Devon and Cornwall Police. Um, So, yeah, it took a bit of time to do it. I had to literally go through frame by frame or second by second to get this video. So, anyway, that's the information. That's all I can give you at the moment. Um, and if you want to make yourselves, if you want to complain or, you know, phone this constabulary and, and explain, express how you feel then please do it in a respectful manner because if as a person that's made the odd phone call or two um you know if you if you get bitchy with these people they will just cut you off it's as simple as that so keep it respectful keep it professional uh, make your feelings known because if you don't make your feelings known and you just it's pointless just ringing them up and just going mad at them because they'll just cut you off and they won't, you know, your complaint won't be recognised. So keep it respectful, keep it professional. Um, that's the only way we'll get our, our message heard is if people um, 
keep it simple, concise, and to the point. Um, so anyway, that's all I've got. It's the it's the only update I can give you. That's all the information I can give you. It's all it, excuse me, sorry. It's um, all the information I've got. And if anyone wants to share subject accesses video, I suggest you share that video, not my video, because um, he's given permission for you to share that video. Um, again, do not share any others of Subject Access's videos because some of them are subject to copyright. So just share the, um, the video of this arrest of a 72-year-old pensioner put in handcuffs behind his back, dragged into a police van. You know, it's just shocking. And we should all be absolutely fucked off with the way these police have acted. It was just disgusting. And this police sergeant, number 6564, with his hands stuck in his pockets, looking at the ground while his subordinates abused a 72-year-old pensioner, he deserves, he deserves everything he's going to get. So, pick up your phones, make your complaints, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, cheers, guys. Thanks for your time. Much appreciated. And I'll speak to you all soon. Take care.